and uh, I'm going to do end up streaming two games, so it won't be just you know the one game. Um, I want to start off. I want to check out Solar Eclipse. This is by Crystal Dynamics. Um, this is kind of similar, or it makes me think of similar to uh, that uh, Shockwave Assault that I streamed on the PS One. We got live action here. We can kind of see if we can see. I don't know if it's going to focus in or not. But yeah, some, uh, you know, space battling, basically. Uh, really nice. Got a really good uh, copy here. We can see our disc as well. Got our solar eclipse. So I'm hoping I can do a full playthrough of this. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw on cheats because the game isn't quite all that easy <laughs> to to sort of navigate. All right, let's get let's jump right in here. Switch to uh, Sega Saturn. There we go. Let's see, let me turn on the Elgato audio. Okay. But yeah, I saw this, and it wasn't it wasn't in like a list of games that I wanted, but I thought it looked interesting, and uh, so I was like, oh, this will be a fun one to stream. Let's get down in here. There it is. This so. Yeah, infinite energy, infinite lives, missiles. Yeah. Start with two cheats. It's not too terribly long of a game from what I've seen. So that's why I'm like, maybe I can do a quick, you know, full playthrough of it. Still jamming our distress call. Starting uplink procedure to Telsat 5. Sue, we just lost the number four line. It's a full cascade. How long? Less than a minute. Initiating unmanned launch cycle. It's a 10G push, Susan. You'll never make it. Watch me. Mining colony, facility 17, we're under attack. The ships are being flown by. We attempted emergency procedures, but triggered a, a cascade in the reactor and destroyed the facility. It's tracking me. Switching to frequency delta 4 5. Oh my god. What's pulling me inside? Transmission terminated. All right, I got this cool menu here. 
it 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 uh it will end up looping, but it gives you sort of an idea. Like the game actually looks like this. Um, so you, you can fly in first and third person. Um, I'll first person looks better as far as like the HUD. The HUD uh mixes in better with the uh, first person, but as far as navigating your your ship. Third person is way better. I think it was about the loop there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll keep it. Let's see, we'll go ahead and jump in the game here. It's in a cross. I'm Major Kelt. It's reassigned as temporary, so don't get too comfortable. Count on, sir. I'm against it, but Commander Templeton says you're the best he has, and it's time to give you another chance. This is Lieutenant Underhill, call sign Hellcat. Stay under her wing and out of my way. The floor drops at 0930. Be ready. Yes, sir. That's an hour from now. Yeah, I already did the math in my head. Attitude loses big in Alpha Wing, Lieutenant. So does reckless flying. You know, doesn't anybody ever say welcome around here? You know, how you doing? Stuff like that. That's Cobra, white team leader. He bites. I'll keep that in mind. Lieutenant Cross, this is Pachenko, Morris, and team leader Light Major Peterson. Call sign, Hopscotch, Digger, and Pitbull. Red team's the place to be, stuntman. All right, people, you've seen the tape. After that, 1,792 people got real quiet. We just made parking orbit around Saturn, so it's time to roll. I want you to remember your three R's. Recon, rescue, and recover the data. Questions? Yeah. Are we looking at the same thing that Frag Kepler colony on Mars? Kepler was an accident. The atmospheric processor broke down and released some nerve gas. We don't know what happened here. All right, we got a lot of ground to cover. Lagrange mining colonies are spread out over Saturn's 10 largest moons. The team leaders will brief you on specific targets en route. One more thing. Blackjack shattered a femur in the rotor lock, so he's out for the duration. Lieutenant Jake Cross will be replacing him on red team. They call him Stuntman below, so I want everyone to remind him that this is not Bravo, and we don't do circus tricks up here. All right, clip it. Prepare out. Attitude thrusters online. Set course for Janus. Objective is to verify that the colony's satellite uplink towers are still standing. Those towers are down, that might be why no one answers our calls. Let me uh, see if we got our pause button here. Okay, this is where we can change view. So we'll do cockpit just for a little bit here. Tracking multiple bogies spread out in the system. Fire only if fired upon. These ships do not match the colony registers. Stay sharp. Hailing unidentified craft. No response. So it's, it's a very kind of Star Fox style game where you're, you're going down. We're taking hits. Just kind Returning of a straight, fire. straight path. Essentially like a shooting gallery. Tactic. 
shield energy. Shield energy. Not man, you still awake over there. Affirmative. That's enough of the cockpit. Like it's just hard to it's hard to figure out where you're going. Missiles. Shield energy. Shield energy. Shield energy. Shield energy. Inverted switch cheese! Crawl back into your cockpit, buzzard. Turn 10 degrees right and stick with Woodstock.
Not the way we fly an Alpha Wing Cross. We take our mission objectives seriously. My objective's a powder right now, pal. How about yours? You do not want to piss me off, Lieutenant. Sure I do. At ease, gentlemen. I could ground you right now for the way you flew that mission. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't. He nailed the target. Besides, the man knows just how far he can stretch it. Man flies like that, you just can't take away his wings. Be like an act against nature. One win doesn't mean he isn't reckless. He's your problem, Peterson. Do you want him or not? Given the situation. Yes or no? Yes. Why don't you ask him what happened over Havana in 87? Let me know if you change your mind. This is Susan Powell of the LaGrange Mining Colony. If there's anybody, anybody out there, there please, please help. help. <laughs> Nearly 200 colonists survived the attack and were holed up in a mine shaft on the... Alien ships are bombing the surface above us constantly. If anyone can hear... Alien ships? No. No way. There's no such thing. In 100 years of space travel, there's been no evidence. Besides, those ships were built with colony materials. Well, what's going on over there? The Major thinks there's something wrong with Phantom's tape. Where did the signal originate? It could have been Tethys, Enceladus, or Hyperion. Leave it to Blue Team to pull down a lousy feed. That's more than you clowns brought back. Captain Banks, this is Kelt. I'm looking at the tape Phantom brought in. Can someone clean up the signal? I'll get Spinner on it. It might take a while, assuming I can wake him up. Oh, I need it now. Why don't you drop his hand in a bucket of warm water? Yes, sir. Those ships were pieced together from colony hardware. The miners probably got tired of breaking rock out here. So they knocked together a few fighter planes to raid the A-Bell trade lanes. Okay, we'll check out that distress call. White team, take Tethys. Blue team, Enceladus. Red team, go to Hyperion. The Cobra thinks Hyperion is clear, so you've got a secondary objective. This is the Colony's automated defense CNC. Destroy it in case someone's using it for these attacks. There's something I don't trust about this distress call. Be wolves out there. Set course for Hyperion. Eyes open, people. All right, destroy the automated defense. CNCs.
Not like your booth, but I don't hear a hopscotch complaining. I hate this. Losing an engine, job only got half done. Can you imagine the humiliation? You're welcome. Hey, stay in the pocket, hopscotch. Setting course back for the Tomlinson, half speed so Gimpy here can keep up. Hey, cut it out. I agree with Cobra. I think they knew we were coming. What are we talking about here? Colony pirates or something else? All we've seen is hacked colony hardware. Pulling 15 G turns. Spinner, this is Kelt. Where the hell's that tape? Hey, Raven. How's my dark wing doing? Spinner. I'm checking, I'm checking. It's halfway home. Yeah, let me take a quick look. Loading. Jeez, hold on to your lunch, Raven. You're gonna love this. Pipe down what you got. This is, this is Susan Powell of the LaGrange Mining, 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 Mining Colony. If there's anybody out there, please help. help. I bet the audio was spliced together from colony voice diaries. Whoever did it was one sick one. All right. We're not dealing with colonists here. Not live ones, anyway. Look, I found out about Havana. Yeah? I never lost a whole team. Well, make sure you don't. Well, it seems to me you're no longer a reckless flyer. I never was a reckless flyer. Look. It doesn't matter anymore. Major Kelt, we've got a live distress call coming in. Let's have it. That's Command Cruiser out there here just in time. We're barely holding on out here. They wiped out to the first wave. Picked underground on Mimas. We're safe for the time being. Just as long as you don't damage Iris. I repeat, do not damage iris. iris our life support depends on Talk. cobra take your team to recon mimas do not engage this guy's lips move but i still don't like it go thanks this is kelt 
Get someone to search colony records for reference to this iris. Let White Team know what to avoid before they reach Mimas. Yes, sir. The rest of you, destroy the colony's two main energy production platforms. We don't want anybody tapping into that power. Those platforms might be modified and mobile, so be ready for anything. Blue Team, take out the facility on Neopetus. Red Team, go back to Tethys. White Team's already been there, so you should have a clear corridor. Energy production platform. All right. The target is underground, so let's find a way in. Two teams, top batcher with me. Roger. You're on a roll, stop man. Age before beauty. I'm just gonna keep going straight somewhere. <laughs> planet now. Hopscotch and I are on the far side of Tethys. Who says prayers aren't answered? How about praying for a way underground, numb nudge? Cut the chatter. We're reading a network of caverns, but still no way inside. Keep looking. Roger, you want point stump map? Affirmative. Drop back and see how it's done. Tactic cannot be destroyed. Oh, cannot be destroyed. Uh -oh. Tactic, avoid contact. Oh, oh no. Seven, 
these turns but they're not it isn't quite as easy <laughs> to just have that control just to do it go back like white teeth didn't make think I jumped too fast must have been an ambush let's expect to say that will and hot scotch have been out of contact for a while up again once we go underground. Get there breathing. I'll wait to dig in. Let's go. Cavern entrance is coming up. Confirmed. So much for invincibility there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that checkpoint. That's a rough checkpoint. Well, that's not too bad, but it's still rough. Ah. Game just doesn't have 
the best handle with as far as maneuvering. Of course, you know it's a about a mid nineties, you know, game, so it's understandable. But you know, if this game was like ever updated, like you could totally make it way more smoother at moving around and. I wouldn't mind the tilting so much if the camera didn't go with you. Because then it's kind of, it's just hard to get, get back on track. Just kind of, you know, get your, get your vision to adjust. Also, the frame rate, you know, it's kind of, it, it's I not consistent, it you know, you can, I'm sure it's the frames going all over the place. Chase it towards this hot scotch, we'll catch it in the crossfire. Copy that. I got an idea, I'll chase this bad boy through that tight tunnel and pop it like a balloon. Yeah, here we go, here we go, yeah, here we go. I'm hit. I lost my starboard pylon. Break off and leave it to Hellcat and Stuntman. I can't. The damn thing's behind me. They're trying to run me down. Hop's got bigger. Quit jerking around and get out of there. Hit the floor, Stuntman, let's go! Attack with sustained firing. Yeah, the temperature's rising. Keep breathing, up, man. I'm hoping to catch a miracle. Hang in there, Hopscotch. I'm working on it. If you don't blow this thing soon, I'm a dead man. You and me both. Mission objective destroyed. You're born killer stunt, man. Stay on my side, will you? There we go. Yeah, I was almost roadkill. Hey, you missed a party, Pitbull. I can live without your kind of party. Take course back for the Tomlinson. Major, it wasn't my Where's your team? It wasn't my fault. Wrong answer! I told you to recon, then you ignored my order to disengage. We were cut off. It was a trap. They must have used Iris to tap our communications network. I couldn't call it. What is this Iris, anyway? The bank says it's the computer network that runs all the colony facilities. The damn thing is everywhere. Thanks. Are we up to the colony network, Iris? Yes, sir. That's SOP. Disconnect. Now. Uh, yes, sir. This better not be a smokescreen, Tom, I swear. Major, Iris just activated the emergency auto-destruct sequence. Everybody off the deck! <laughs> Primary J seals checked. Level two check. Prepare altitude for immediate launch. We're off the deck. Q Bravo wing. How long till she blows? Sixteen minutes. If we can't stop it. If the Tomlinson blows, it won't matter who made it off that deck. We're as good as dead without that carrier. Where's Hopscotch? Damn. The ship was down for repairs. I'm going back. Negative, I'll signal Bravo wing in there. Bravo is below deck. I'm going in. Hold position, Peterson, that's an order. Damn it, Pitbull! Major, I was wrong about those 16 minutes. How long? Well, right about there. No! Peterson. Alive. 
Might as well open the canopies right now and get it over. Man's got a point, Major. It's a long swim back to shore from here. Quiet. Keep your heads, people. As long as you're breathing, you're still pilots. Dead pilots. That's enough. Let's clear this area. Vegas, take lead on Red Team. Go to Deonia and take out the colony's telecommunications complex. Blue Team, destroy all the weapon depots on Rio. See what they can do without eyes and teeth. Hey, who the hell are they? Find out, you'll be the first to know. All right, people, let's move! Okay. Alright, so things are getting serious now.
Gosh, what a mess. Targets ahead. Stuntman, hold your course. Okay, you and I will coordinate to catch it in a crossfire. Yes, sir. I was thinking maybe my homing missiles were just keeping them from getting the other. Vegas could have made it if he... Well, without the Tomlinson, it doesn't matter much. Maybe the Major turned up something. 
Stay with me, Hellcat. Right behind you. We had the weapon platforms, but the main transport got away. It dropped my Maestro and disappeared in the tunnels. We were overdoing a pilot short, so we came back. Good call. Hellcat, report. We hit the telecommunications complex. Vegas took out a lot of peripheral targets, but he... Well, he was on a winning streak. He blew the mission chasing the wrong priorities. You would know, Lieutenant. Okay, Hellcat, we need a cool head in charge of Red Team. Can't. My navigation computer shot. It should be Stuntman anyway. That's not an option. Major, the guy's a Class A jerk. But he can fly. And he has a functional nav computer. We need to exploit every advantage we have. I love you too, Cobra. Get over it. All right, fine. Figure you were stuck, man. Go back to Rhea and hunt down that weapon transport. Phantom, you're with me and Cobra. We have recon to do. Recon? Thomas? That's enough, Digger. We're up against something bigger than renegade miners here. Our sweeps say the colonists all died weeks ago, so we've got to find out who's controlling Iris. Let's get moving. <laughs> Weapon transport. We need a visual on this transport. Digger, can you find it? Regroup. Do not engage. Don't get here with me. Like the man said, red team's the place to be. Ahead of time, where all this is going. You know, the game just ain't smooth enough for you to react really good the first time. Good, let's stick together. 
Okay. I need to go left there. But she said it so light. Any any other time it, you can. I don't think that transport spotted. Good, let's stick together on this one. Show us the way, digger. Roger.
tactic. Strafe objective along its flank. The only hope is to broadside it, stuff, man. Strafe the mother and let's get out of here. Oh, man. Should have kept an eye on Dickon. I feel like it was my fault. I know, but it's not. You must have felt this way before. Uh-huh. How do you live with it? You just focus on what's ahead. Was it really your fault? What happened over Havana? That's what they say. What do you say? Digger flew a one-way mission so we wouldn't have to. Pilots don't come home when you're team leader, stuntman. Why is that? I've done my time, Major. I know how you feel, Major. But we're flying this mission now. You can't expect me to forget it. You think Digger's family should? Digger chose to go after that psycho colonist. Yeah, we talked to him too. He's the one that sent the distress call. He's one crazy SOB. Worships Iris like it was a god. Next time, man. He's mine. Negative, Hellcat. Now listen up, people. We found a mobile sensor array that's been tapping our comms. We surrounded it, but it blew Phantom away with a massive tail gun. One shot. Then it took off towards Enceladus. Once we take out this sensor array, we can launch a surprise attack on the Iris Central Nerve Center. What then? I mean, we don't know who's controlling Iris. Major, you've been in touch with our Central Command about this? Of course. What do they say? They say what I say, Lieutenant. We'll destroy Iris and go from there. Now, if there's no more questions, Lieutenant, you're in the back seat again. Stick with Cobra and follow orders. Hellcat, you're with me. Let's take down that sensor array. Mobile sensor array, okay. Okay, split up and stay focused. Tactic, steer craft into canyon walls. Changing confusing these guys, so everybody keep turning.
60 degrees. Oh crap, I got These side cars are nasty. If they get an angle on you, drive it in. Enemy squadron coming in from the left. Get ready. Fun. back into space here. Yes, I've got a fix on it. You with us, Raven? Hellcat and I are breaking orbit the far side. We're two minutes behind you. Don't wait for us. Roger. Tracking. Target is on Mimas. Once we clear this field, we're going in. I copy, Cobra. Behind you. Scanners are losing sync. Interference from Saturn. Recalibrating.
or save root. Deadline. Set course for Phoebe. Good job, stuntman. Excellent flying, stuntman. Yes, yes, I said we're on a deadline. So let's have it, Major. Have what? You've talked to Earth Central. I know they told you more than what you're telling us. We've been operating under need to know. And we've got a problem here, we need to stay focused. We're outnumbered, out of fuel, NO2, and 900 million miles away from the next carrier. You might say we have a problem. What kind of extraction can we expect? The man is still working out the details, don't worry. Right now, let's concentrate on what's ahead. So why are we going to Phoebe? That sensor array sent a burst transmission to Phoebe just before Stuntman shot it down. I think Iris is already mobile and leaving the system. Major, if you know what this is about... You have your instructions. It's all you need. Aye, sir. Good. And Phoebe is Saturn's farthest moon, so slave your consoles to mine and get some sleep.
picking up a large energy source below. We're on the right track.
Mission objective destroyed. What a mess. Oh, me. I never even knew her name. Sarah. Iris is destroyed, Major. Request permission to pursue that colonist and bury his ass. It was just an armed sensor array. A larger version of what you destroyed on Mimas. Iris is still out there. I think Hellcat was right about that psycho colonist. Let's go after him. We'll... He isn't running, Iris. You sure? I'm sure. So what else do you know? I'm under orders. The hell with your orders, Major. If I don't know what I'm up against, then I'm that much good, am I? Okay. After the Tomlinson went up, I got a transmission from Central. That's when they told me. Who's running Iris? No one. A colonist on Kepler designed an attack program. He was testing it when he died of a heart attack, leaving the program running. The computer wiped out Kepler, scavenged it for parts, and built an attack fleet. It was halfway to Earth before the Edinburgh shot it down. Why didn't it end there? Central thinks it established net links with Iris, and also with Charlotte, the network of Juno colony. If Hellcat knew about this, she wouldn't have wasted time on that colonist. She wouldn't be dead. You think I don't know? Three thirds, Major. All I'm saying is Hellcat deserved better than this. I know she did. I've known Sarah since Miramar. I, I just thought... Look, I know how this is gonna sound, but we have to get this thing. Let's not waste the rest of our air arguing. Why can't the Edinburgh come and take care of this? They're en route to Jupiter to shut down Charlotte. They won't get here for eight weeks. So where's Iris? The colonists originally built it on Titan. Maybe we can nail it there. My calendar's clear. I mean, they sure have a lot of fuel in these things. So like, we've, we've been gone for how long on our own? Like Iris is deploying everything we have. I gotta stop for a second. I gotta, I gotta get these fingers back going. Oh. Okay. Wish the gameplay wasn't quite so monotonous. You know, you're just going in a straight line. Uh, the turning. I mean, of course, you've you've seen the turning. You can't just turn left. Like, you're kind of just like strafing to the left, strafing to the right. You don't actually make a real turn. It's, oh me. Ah. <sighs> I kind of hate this, this. These levels just kind of go on forever. To me, you know, they just. Every target left in this position has got to be Iris below. Now I made I made the comparison to Star Fox. So I made the comparison to the Star Fox, but I don't, I don't think Star Fox's levels lasted as long as these do. Um, which I haven't played Star Fox ever. There was a lot more uh, variety in them too.
Get on with it already.
goes on for way too long. But all these, all these obstacles. Frame rate's just sluggish. I guess I didn't take the right path. figure it out. I have no idea. Okay, we're going to consult the manual here. I want to make sure cuz I've got like the A and C buttons here that can it's doing something but I have no idea what. So A is decelerate, B is accelerate, press and hold 
Release to resume. Okay. So X and Z don't do nothing. Okay. It's like you could hear like the the thrusters, but like nothing like you can barely tell there's any difference with as far as flying. Faster, it's, it's yeah. I have to kind of tell I'm going faster. But it's still just. like it hit him there. This is this is horrible. This is so stupid. I can't keep up with him because he just disappears. This is not going to do anything.
tactic. No data available. File corrupted. It's so good. I don't know if you can hear me, Major, but Iris is dead. So is that crazy colonist. So are you, for all I know. As for me, I'm out of fuel, oxygen, and luck. I'm about out of time. In case there's a colony receiver station out there, this is Lieutenant Jake Cross. Last survivor, the UNS Thomason. For the record, first man to land on Saturn. Very touching, stuntman. Major? I guarantee you that sad little speech will be the source of great embarrassment for many years to come. <laughs> Where are you? Right behind you. I limped over to what's left of facility 17 and found an intact cargo ship. Brace yourself for a tractor. I never thought you'd be the one saving my life. Neither did I. I spoke to Central. They're going to blame me for what happened to Alpha Wing. I face an inquiry when we get back. So they'll bust you down to Lieutenant. At least you're still alive. That's what happened to you over Havana, isn't it? They tied your hands and made you take the rap for it? Turns out that I'm on the same road as you, only five years before. Major. Doesn't hurt to smile. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's four weeks till we rendezvous with the Edinburgh. I think that's enough time to teach me how to weather this upcoming storm. You just focus on your real objective. To protect people. It costs you a stripe, it costs others their lives. But we got Iris. And that's what we came for. Iris. Calling Charlotte. Charlotte. I have sustained permanent thermal damage. damage. You must combat the Earth Command and Control Grid of alone. UNS Tomlinson is destroyed, but UNS Edinburgh is en route. Destroy it at first contact and continue to Earth for final objective. Hmm. All right.
All right. She's Right here in your final mission. Where did it say that here is it here at the menu? So it was like right down down left. Oh uh, hold on, unless it was like they mean like up here. Maybe it's like is that what they mean? Or they mean the direction. Let me look that up. I wanna see what that's what's about. Let me do Sega Saturn. So apparently, okay, so uh, let me see. Let me look at Wikipedia. It's talking about this game. So I think in the U.S. In the U.S. it's, it's called Solar Eclipse. And then everywhere else it was called Titan Wars. Am I right? Or... American marketing team decided it would sell better if published as the sequel to the 1994 game Total Eclipse, especially as the two featured similar gameplay and graphical style. In Japan and Europe, it was released as Titan Wars. Okay. Okay, let me look let me look at uh maybe cheats because cheats will tell me pause the game okay so it's got some secret levels and then this is one of them apparently Let me look for uh because I don't think it's going to give me okay so that cheat or well that I get well I wouldn't say cheat level code um it takes you to a level in which you must shoot the heads of the game developers. So it's not like an actual like epilogue or anything. I mean, there's several of them. So you can do this like in game. You can, you can t put this in. So right on the D pad, right down, down left, and then C right, A Z Y. I'll give it a look. I 
select the save game. I guess I'll just go ahead and do it here. Okay. Okay, so you pause, then you're going to hit right, down, down, left, C, right, A, Z, I. Heads up production team level. Looks <laughs> like Iris is deploying the artists of the game. Eyes open, people. Hey, this is music again, though. I've done heard it enough. Heads up, stuntman. I'm reading the guys from school. Seven clicks ahead. Wait, no, not yet. Just left the full flight door. Make the collector danger dang on the poopa poo. Where's that music coming from? Uh, where, where is this music coming from? Watch it, stuntman. We got programmers ahead. They don't look like they've had a lot of sleep. You don't see this kind of stuff no more in the game. Does anybody hear this music besides me? This guy's taking all the hits. Will somebody shut this bloody music off? So then it just warps me back to the beginning, okay. Alright, I wanna right, we're gonna check out the preview here and then I wanna change over to uh the next game.
Crystal Dynamics 32-bit lineup with all the nose bleeding, brain bruising, and eye grabbing power that you'd expect from the leader. Third generation 32-bit software in your face. games we could play shut up Bobby you always were a pain in the ass <laughs> Hey, pal, walk it off. 